I swear, in order to relax and vent as we plan on doing, cool, yeah, you're not gonna like the first time. That wouldn't have been totally great for my video. But anyways, I feel like if you're gonna vent, you gotta light a candle, am I right? Hey guys, it's V. Today, I have got another installment of V Vibes and Vents. Which is sort of my version of a get ready with me, but it has a way cooler name than that, am I right? <laughs> Anyways, so I thought today that I would just film myself doing my makeup as get ready with me's go because I am getting a new tattoo today, so I want my makeup to look kind of nice, but also be able to sit for like, I don't know, five, six, I don't know how long it's gonna take. So yeah, I've already done my foundation and everything will be in the info box below on what I used, but in my first V Vibes and Vents video, I did do my entire face. So I did primer, foundation, concealer, everything. So right now I have concealer on my under eyes and foundation done already. So basically I'm just gonna do my eyes with you guys because I feel like that other one, it was a half an hour long. Yeah, that was really long. So hopefully this one won't be nearly as long. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just gonna zoom you guys into my face and we can talk while we do makeup. So my eyelids are already primed with the Thank Me Later Elizabeth Mott Eye Primer. And yeah, so I'm just gonna get into doing my shadows and stuff. And I'll sort of try and talk about what I'm doing, but if I don't say something, it is gonna be listed down below. I tried really, really hard in that last video to do that and I ended up making it work, so you know, just give me a little little baby applause or maybe just like internally applaud me because I'm pretty, pretty excited that I did that. So this is the color Classic Cream from the Tarte Clay of Life Quad, which looks like this. So I'm actually gonna be using the self-made palette from Anastasia today. So it's uh, my baby. I love it so, so much. And I saw a really pretty eye look on Instagram that I wanna try and sort of replicate. Probably won't turn out as good as theirs, but you know, we can always try. First, I'm gonna take a sip of my iced vanilla latte from Einstein Bros, which is like my favorite breakfast place ever, even though it's extremely expensive. I definitely like McDonald's iced coffee more. Their iced latte is not as good. It's very strong. Very strong bitter good coffee taste and is not my favorite. I'm just gonna start right on in here with hot chocolate because that's what the girl did in the video. So we just gonna do what she's doing. Anyway, so as I said, I am getting a tattoo today, which I plan on doing an entire video about. Sorry, I just had to pull out a rogue lash. I plan on doing an entire video about it because it's gonna be pretty big and I'm really excited about it. It's definitely my biggest tattoo that I've gotten so far. I don't know if I've mentioned before, but I do have five. Yeah, I think I have five tattoos, I think. <laughs> don't even know how many tattoos I got, but yeah. Once I get more, cause I do plan on getting quite a few more, I'll do like a whole tattoo, all of my tattoos and what they mean kind of video. But as of right now, I don't feel like I really have enough to justify doing that video yet. And I really wanna get a lot more done before I do that video. So I'm getting a fortune teller on my thigh. And um, I'm nervous only because <laughs> I don't know how long I'm gonna be able to sit cause it's gonna be pretty big and pretty detailed. And I still haven't decided if I wanna do color yet. Um, the artist basically said, you know, well, don't make a decision about it because once you see the drawing, you may, like, because I haven't seen the drawing yet and I'm getting it later today because that's the way he does it. He still blended in this hot chocolate. I don't know why I'm taking so long just to do this one little part. But yeah, so I'm nervous only because I don't know how long my pain threshold is because I do have a tattoo on my foot that took, I want to say roughly like two and a half hours or so and now I'm gonna take metallic plum on a shader brush and put that on my lid but I have that one and yeah it took roughly around two and a half to three hours and I really wanted to get a tattoo on my other foot before I got that tattoo and <laughs> yeah let's just say that's not gonna happen anytime soon because that was extremely painful to get on my foot. I don't know how different the thigh area is. I've heard from others that it's really not too bad. So I'm not like, 
extremely scared or anything. I'm hoping to get the entire thing done today, but I don't know. I mean, I have a pretty high pain tolerance and I'm pretty stoic. So if it does hurt, I probably won't say anything. I'll just stick it out because I really want the end product to be, you know, great. So if it hurts, I'll probably just stick it out and, <laughs> and finish it. But I don't know. I don't know how I am with that because Every tattoo that I've had hasn't really taken longer than like two and a half hours or three hours. So I don't know. I'm just going to take some pink champagne. No. I just kidding. I know it. I know it's champagne. I'm not an idiot. And I'm going to pop that on the center of the lid. This is a pretty simple eye look. But anyways, hopefully I can get the whole tattoo finished today because that would be really cool. And then I can do a video for you guys and I don't have to, you know, wait between doing the video because I don't have the tattoo finished because that would kind of suck. I'm going to wipe away some fallout with this blush brush real quick. Then I think I'm going to highlight the brow bone with treasure. Yeah. Ooh, that's very uh, pigmented. Holy shit balls. That might have been a little too much and I totally just got it in my crease. Ah, uh, balls. Okay, well, nobody's perfect. I gotta work it. Funny story, when I was in high school, for some reason, I thought that song was a good song to have as my morning alarm to get ready for school. So whenever my morning alarm would go off, it'd be like, everybody makes mistakes. And it was really annoying. So as soon as I heard it, I pretty much just turned off my uh, my alarm and I was late most days. In high school, I seriously, I was the laziest <laughs> senior ever. I literally wore sweatpants every single day. I didn't give two of the f**ks about what I wore because first of all, I already had a boyfriend so I wasn't trying to look nice <laughs> because Blake actually didn't go to my high school. He went to a different high school than I did. I'm putting hot chocolate underneath the eye. And he's a year, he's two years older than me, so he graduated a year before I graduated anyway, even if he did go to the same school as me. So my senior year was literally sweatpants every single day. Like I had this one pair of gray sweats from Walmart that I wore every day. And then I had these moccasins that I wore that I still have those moccasins. Maybe I'll insert a little clip of them right here. They are torn to shit. They are so disgusting, but I love them and they're my babies. They're my favorite moccasins I ever had. So I got them like probably, I want to say my junior year and I, I still have them. I graduated in 2011 <laughs> and I still wear them all the time. Now I'm using the Anastasia Dip Brow in Auburn onto my brows. But yeah, so like, and usually my hair, it was either I waved it, which I do sometimes still, but not nearly as often as I used to because I don't think it looks as good as I used to think it looked. So um, I would wave my hair every single day. I almost always had feathers in my hair, especially through senior year because that was when that was really like picking up and getting popular. And what I used to do is I used to buy them off of Etsy. Yes, I know it's called Etsy, but I like Etsy better, so I call it Etsy. I used to buy them off of Etsy, and I used to sell them to girls at my school because I'm an entrepreneur like that. <laughs> I used to sell lots of stuff. Like, I used to make those little embroidered bracelets that you learn how to make at, like, summer camp. That just was way too much for that brow. Good job. Yeah, and then I used to sell feathers, and I mean, shit, I made some good money off of those feathers because I would buy them for like, I'd probably buy a bundle of like 25 feathers for maybe like 15 or 20 bucks, so about a dollar a feather, sometimes even less than that. This brow is not having it today. And then I would sell them for seven or eight bucks a piece because that even was less than what salons were selling them for at the time. Salons were selling them for probably like 10 to $15 a feather, which blows my mind. Like why you would pay that much for hair feathers? I don't, 
I don't get it. Like, you just can just do a little bit of research and you can buy hair feathers on Etsy for way cheaper. Now I'm using the Ulta Brow Tint in Medium just to deepen those brows up a little bit. I went to one Fall Out Boy concert when I was in high school and my dad didn't know about it because I don't think he would have let me go. So I didn't tell him about it. And that was probably one of the only times I ever didn't tell my dad that I was doing something because my dad was, my dad was the kind of dad that if you broke his trust, you could just kiss everything goodbye pretty much because basically he let me do what I wanted to do. And a lot of times he didn't even really ask questions. He just said, as long as you're home, by the time you need to be home, then we're fine. When I was in high school, okay, so my parents were divorced, right? But when I was in high school, my curfew at my dad's house was 10 o'clock PM all throughout high school, unless I had a special occasion like a dance and then it might be midnight, but I had to really convince him about midnight. Where's my new waterline pencil? Okay, I guess I'm just gonna have to use white. So I'm gonna use the NYX white waterproof eye pencil and put that in my bottom waterline. But yeah, so my curfew was 10 o'clock at my dad's house. I didn't have a curfew with my mom, but she was just a lot more hands-on in terms of she had to know exactly where I was at every second of the time that I wasn't at the house. So it, it was kind of, uh, there was a good thing about with my mom and there's a good thing about with my dad is that my dad didn't really care where I was as long as I was home. My mom really cared about where I was and didn't care when I was home. So I lived with my mom up until I was out of high school. And then once I started cosmetology school, when I turned 18, I lived with my dad. And my curfew with my dad when I was 18 in cosmetology school was still midnight. And I had a part-time job and I went to school full-time and I was dating Blake, of course, because we've been dating since the dawn of eternity. <laughs> and yeah, so when I hear kids complain about having a midnight curfew when they're 15 or 16 years old, I'm just kind of like, take it while you can get it because I never had that kind of curfew and I am jealous of the kids that got to be out until midnight when they were still in high school. Yeah, in terms of my high school experience, I mean, I think I have a pretty decent high school experience. I didn't really get bullied or anything. I wasn't really popular or anything either. Um, I feel like I was that kid in high school that people were like, oh, Vienna, yeah, I know who that is, but I don't talk to her <laughs> and um and I, I'm I'm a pretty shy person especially in public I'm really shy like I mean if 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 any of y'all ever meet me in public which I mean first of all if somebody ever recognizes me in public from YouTube I would probably like shit my pants just instantly because that is that's insane to me that that's even possible that that could happen, <laughs> but I, I'm a really shy, introverted person and doing these videos and stuff, it really kind of it helps me. It helps me like express myself and it helps me kind of branch out to people and while well, yeah, I'm talking to a camera, like when you guys comment and you like tell me, you know, about your experiences and stuff like that, it really is, it's really awesome. Like, I don't think that people realize what a cool platform YouTube is. You can connect with people from all around the world that have had totally different life experiences than you. And it's just, it's so cool. I don't, it blows my mind that someone in like, Africa or China or Europe or Canada can watch my videos. I'm using the opal highlight from Becca by the way. I don't think I'm gonna wear lipstick today because since I'm getting my tattoo I don't really think that that's necessary. I don't think that I need to wear lipstick because I feel like I'm just gonna be bothered by it all day long. Like does anyone else feel like lipstick is just like the biggest freaking hassle? Sometimes I just really hate wearing it. Like halfway through the day, I just get really tired of it and I take it off. Like pretty much if I'm not doing a first impression for you guys, I only wear lipstick for half the day. And then once I get home, I immediately take it off. Like if I go out and run an errand, I'll wear it and then I'll just 
rip that shiz off when I get home because there's no reason to have lipstick on when you're sitting on your couch watching Law & Order SVU. Which, by the way, is getting so intense. Like, spoiler alert, if you guys watch Law & Order SVU, don't listen right now, but freaking Olivia getting fired. That's the most recent episode that just happened. Um, or at least she just said, I'm out. I don't know what that exactly means, but I'm pretty sure it means that she's fired. That's usually what I'm out means. <laughs> I'm gonna be wearing some falsies today and they are from, they're from Ardell. They're the Demi Wispies and I cut them in half because I feel as though it's a lot easier to only wear half lashes than to wear full lashes. And I wanna be comfy today, but I also wanna look fancy, so. Trying to mix the best of both worlds here. I'm using this really cool Japanese eyelash um, applicator that Vintage or Tacky talked about on her channel. And I just thought, hey, I've only tried the plastic ones. I really want to try this one and see if I like it. So I'm trying that and seeing how I like it. I've used it once before and I did really like it. I feel like it, it really holds your lashes while you're trying to apply them, which is nice. And it's not as super pointed as tweezers, so you don't really have to worry about like stabbing yourself, which I worry about on the daily. And I'm using the Revlon Precision Clear Lash Adhesive that I got from Walmart. I really like it. It doesn't irritate my eyes and it's latex free. So if you need that, it is. I need to get more half lashes because they're so easy to put on compared to regular false lashes. Also, can I just say y'all, when I first started doing YouTube videos, I never, never in my wildest dreams would have thought that I would start wearing false lashes. Like, YouTube does this to me. YouTube did this to me. They turned me into this lash wearing monster. I don't have time to apply false lashes before work during the week, but on the weekends, I like to rock them lashes and I just, they just make me feel really pretty. I don't know what it is about them. Like, can't you see right there? Look at the difference that that makes. It just adds like a little, little flick. Time is up. How much time do I have before I have to go to this tattoo appointment? 11.50? I still have to do my hair. Okay, so while those lashes are working, I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you guys back out and we're gonna do my hair really quickly. Ow. Just pulled out four hairs. Ow. Damn you clip, that really hurt. Okay, so I've got my new me. I think this is the Silhouette Straightener. I don't know which one it is. It's okay, it's not my favorite, but I've been using it because I bought it and I didn't want to not use it because it was like 30 bucks, which really isn't too expensive. I think I got it when they were doing a really good sale, but I'm just going to spray my hair with the Thermal Image Heat Protectant Spray from Wella. This is my favorite. It used to be in different packaging. It wasn't the EIMI, but this is the same exact thing as the old packaging. So if you've watched my previous videos where I used the old packaging one, it's the same thing. It's a brand new one, so <laughs> definitely got to spray that spray myself all over. My hair actually doesn't look too bad today. Like I kind of thought that it looked a lot worse than it did, but maybe I'll just straighten my bangs and be done. Cause a lot of times that's what I do. But then again, I just sprayed my entire hair. So I don't know. What am I gonna do with myself? So basically to do my bangs, I just take little sections like this and curl them going this way. Twist them a bit, move on, let it dry going that way, and repeat the process. Then I bring it all back over, and we've got the perfect swoop. Mm. Yeah, I think I want to curl my hair or straighten it or something. So I've worn my hair like this in a couple of videos, and you guys seem to think that it looks really good. So I'll go ahead and show you guys how I do it. Basically, I take my wet brush. This is a wet brush from Wet Brush. They didn't send it to me or anything. I went and bought it myself. But, and then I just take my straightener, and I start out straight, and then I kind of tilt it just a little bit as I go down the strand. Twist a little bit with the fingers, and that's it. In the front, keeping it spun away from my face.
These roots though, they are starting to come in strong. Come through roots, come through. Not really, but yes, like I have a love-hate relationship with roots because I love seeing them because it means my hair is growing, but I hate seeing them because that means I need to color my hair. I think I left a little too much conditioner in my hair last night because it's feeling kind of weird. because I don't really like it like straight that much because it's just so flat. So I like having this because it gives me some volume towards the bottom. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do the other side real quick, not on camera. So this is my finished makeup look. Okay y'all, so that is everything. I hope you guys liked this installment of V Vibes and Vents. If you did, be sure to show us some love to that like button right down there. And if you subscribe, you can be a member of my Muse family and every single one of you guys counts so, so much. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye guys.